Have you ever opened your banking app, saw the number, and immediately tried to mentally retrace everything you spent that week? Most of the time, it's not one big purchase. It's the small, everyday expenses that quietly pile up. Coffee here, delivery there, subscriptions you forgot about. It adds up fast, and keeping track of all of it can feel overwhelming. So instead of guessing where your money goes, imagine having your own budget app that actually breaks it down for you. Expenses, categories, budgets, reports, and even smart alerts when your spending starts drifting off track. Not just a list of numbers, but something that helps you understand your habits and make better decisions. In the next 10 minutes, we're going to build exactly that. No coding, no complicated setup, no spreadsheets. We'll let Base44 handle the heavy lifting while we put the entire app together step by step. From the first screen to a fully working budget system with an adaptive spending advisor. The AI tool that we will use is called Base44. I added a special link in the description down below so you can check it out. Let's get started. Almost everyone I know has tried some way of tracking their money. A notes app, a spreadsheet they forget about a week, or a budgeting app they open once and never touch again. The problem usually isn't motivation, it's friction. If the system feels complicated or incomplete from the start, people bounce. So the first thing I want to do here is remove that friction by generating a full, usable structure right away, instead of slowly stitching pieces together. To do that, I'll start by telling Base44 to generate the entire foundation of the budget app in one go. Create a complete budget app with fully linked pages for dashboard, expenses, add expense, categories, budgets, and reports. Include summary totals on a dashboard, category placeholders, a detailed expense list layout, and empty charts in reports. Make sure all pages are connected and prepared to accept data. After Base44 finishes, the app already feels real. The dashboard shows total spending and weekly metrics, giving an immediate snapshot of where money is going. The expenses page is ready with a transaction list layout. The ad expense page already has a foreign place. Categories are editable, budgets are set up for monthly limits, and the report section is prepared with chart placeholders and summaries. Everything is connected from the start, which means we're not worrying about navigation or missing pages later. This gives us a solid, working foundation so the rest of the build can focus on improving the experience and adding intelligence instead of fixing structure. Alright, a lot of budgeting apps fail not because the math is wrong but because the interface feels cluttered or overwhelming. If numbers are hard to scan or totals are buried, people stop checking their finances altogether. I want this app to feel calm, clear, and easy to read something you'd actually open daily without feeling stressed the moment you see your spending. To clean things up, I'll ask Base44 to refine the UI across the entire app. Refine the UI throughout the app to match a modern finance tool. Update spacing, containers, and typography. Style transaction cards consistently. Apply clean money formatting. Reorganize the dashboard so total spending, weekly summaries, and budget status are clear and easy to read. The interface gets a refresh across the entire app so it actually looks and behaves like a modern budgeting tool you'd want to use every day. Spacing is tightened where needed, containers are better balanced, and typography becomes easier to scan at a glance. The dashboard is also reorganized so total spending, weekly summaries, and budget status are front and center instead of competing for attention. Along with that, transaction cards now follow a consistent style, complete with category colors, icons, and clean amount formatting. Now, this is usually where budgeting apps either become useful or completely fall apart. If login and expense feels annoying, slow, or confusing, people stop doing it. And once that happens, the whole system breaks. I want to add an expense to feel quick and flexible, while still capturing enough detail to actually make the data useful later. To tighten this up, I'll have Base44 update the expense and category flow with this prompt. Upgrade the add expense page so users can enter amount, category, date, and notes. Add support for recurring expenses such as subscriptions. Improve the categories manager with editable names. 
icons, and colors. Ensure that all expenses appear automatically on dashboard, budgets, and reports without desync or duplicates. After this runs, the Ad Expense page is now a proper financial input system. Users can enter the amount, pick a category, choose a date, and leave notes for contacts. Support for recurring expenses means subscriptions and monthly bills don't have to be re-entered over and over again. Categories also become fully customizable. Names, icons, and colors can be edited so the budget actually reflects how someone thinks about their spending instead of forcing everything into generic labels. Most importantly, every expense updates instantly across the dashboard, budgets, and reports. There's no manual syncing and no duplicate data. Everything stays accurate everywhere, which is critical once people start relying on the app to make financial decisions. The thing is, most people don't overspend because they're careless. It usually happens quietly. A few extra meals out, one too many small purchases, or a subscription you forgot was still active. By the time you notice, the damage is already done. This is the exact gap I wanted to close with this app, because simply tracking expenses isn't enough if nothing flags the problem early. To build that layer of intelligence, I'll ask Base44 to add the app's signature feature using this prompt. Create the adaptive spending advisor that analyzes users' spending patterns in real time. It should detect unusual spikes, trend changes, and category overspending. When spending rises too quickly, generate contextual alerts like dining spending increased 32% this week or you are close to exceeding your transportation budget. Make sure alerts update dynamically as new expenses are added. After this is implemented, the app starts actively paying attention to behavior. Every time a new expense is locked, the advisor reevaluates the data in the background. If spending in a category jumps suddenly or if a budget is close to being exceeded, the app surfaces clear, specific alerts instead of vague warnings. Those insights show up directly on the dashboard and inside the report section, right where users are already looking. Because the advisor recalculates after every transaction, the feedback stays current and relevant. But numbers on their own don't really help most people. You can log every expense perfectly and still feel confused if everything is buried in lists and totals. What actually makes budgeting click is being able to see patterns, where money goes, when spending spikes, and which habits are quietly costing the most. That's what this section is meant to solve. To turn raw data into something understandable, I'll have Base44 upgrade the report section with this prompt. Enhance the reports page with functional pie charts, trend lights, weekly and monthly summaries, and spending comparisons. Add a savings potential section that estimates possible savings if certain spending habits were adjusted. Ensure the visuals follow the app's financial design style. Alright, the reports page is now the analytical center of the app. Spending is broken down into clear category charts making it obvious where money is actually going. Weekly and monthly trend lines show whether spending is improving or drifting off track over time. Comparison views highlight which categories are consuming the biggest share of the budget. One of the most useful additions here is the savings potential panel. Instead of just showing what happened, it estimates how much could realistically be saved if certain habits were adjusted. That turns the reports from passive summaries into something users can act on. Though, here's the thing, even when people finally see where the money's going, they still get stuck on the, okay, now what, part. It's easy to feel motivated looking at reports and then immediately fall back into the same spending habits because there's no clear next step. I want this app to do more than point out the problem. It should help the user follow a realistic plan. So, I'll tell Base44 to build a saving plan generator with this prompt. Add a saving plan generator that creates personalized 7-day and 30-day plans based on real spend behavior. Include recommended caps per category, suggested reductions, and projected savings. The plan must update automatically as users add new expenses. After Base44 adds it, the app can generate two saving plans that actually feel usable. 
There's a short 7-day plan for quick adjustments when someone wants to tighten things up immediately, and a full 30-day plan for longer-term discipline that's easier to stick with over time. Each plan comes with recommended caps per category, suggested reductions that make sense based on real behavior, and projected savings so the user can see what the effort adds up to. The best part is, the plan isn't static. As new expenses get logged, the recommendations update automatically, so the plan stays relevant instead of feeling outdated after two days. Now, most people don't want to sit down at the end of the month and analyze spreadsheets like it's a full-time job. They just want the, so what happened version. Where did my money go? What did I do well? And what needs to change next month? That's why we'll be adding a monthly story style recap here. What I love with this idea is that it will turn the numbers into something that you can actually understand in a minute. To build that, I'll give Base44 this prompt. Build a monthly financial story summarizing the user's month, including top spending day, biggest savings day, category breakdowns, unusual trends, and total performance. Add an export option that generates a clean infographic of the monthly summary. After it's generated, the monthly financial story becomes a simple, digestible recap of the user's spending habits. It calls out the day with the highest spending, the day with the strongest budgeting result, and the categories that took up the biggest portion of the month. It also flags unusual spikes so the user can spot the, wait, why was this so high moments? without hunting through every transaction. After everything we did, this is the part most people skip, and it's usually why apps feel a little off once they're live. Small things add up fast, a number that doesn't update, a chart that lags behind, a budget that looks right on one page but wrong on another. Before calling anything done, we need to make sure the app actually behaves the way a real person would expect it to. So here, I'll run one final prompt in Base44. Review the entire budget app for accuracy, UI consistency, clean navigation, and proper syncing across all pages. Test the advisor alerts, budget calculations, reports visuals, and saving plan logic. Fix spacing and styling issues. When everything works smoothly, prepare the app for publishing and verify the live version on both desktop and mobile. At this stage, every page will be checked end to end. Expenses are now being added and edited to confirm they sync instantly across the dashboard, budgets, and reports. You can also see here that the advisor alerts are triggered on purpose to make sure they fire at the right time. We can also observe here charts and summaries as new data comes in to confirm the update correctly. We can also see the recurring transactions and category changes being tested to make sure nothing breaks downstream. Since everything is now behaving the way it should, we can now publish the app. We'll do a final pass on the live version to confirm that syncing, visuals, interactions, and calculations all hold up on both desktop and mobile. At this point, our budget app is stable, predictable, and ready to be used day to day. And there you have it. We just turned everyday money chaos into a real budget app. One that tracks spending, spots bad habits early, and actually helps you stay in control. Built in minutes with Base44. If budgeting has ever felt messy or overwhelming, this is a clean reset. Again, the Base44 link is below. Build it, tweak it, and make it work your way. Hey, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.